Ben Hefner, and you are listening to the Trey Olds Radio Show. Thank you very much for listening. Happy enjoyment. Thank you, Mr. Glenn Hefner. Welcome, everyone. Good evening. Welcome to the Trey Olds Radio Show. My guest today is actor Mr. Jack Forbes. Thank you, and join us in a minute. Okay, my first question to you is, how did you become an actor? How did your career begin? Well, um, my career began uh, when I, let's see, that, that's a kind of a, uh, indirectly my career began when I was a young boy. My uh, mother had been a dancer and actor in Hollywood in the 40s, and uh, she took my sister and I to a lot of uh, first run openings in Hollywood of big movies and to a lot of, uh, uh, top plays and just exposed us to the artistry involved in acting, uh, throughout my childhood. And, um, finally, when I was in high school, I took an acting class. Um, and, uh, ultimately I, I stopped acting after that <laughs> for many years uh, because of uh, a scene where I was paired up with this very popular girl in school and I, I needed to kiss her during the scene and I, I'd never kissed a girl ever before and it was, um, it was really distressing to <laughs> go through that uh, with uh, this girl named Anita. Uh, but uh, one good thing that happened in the course of that acting class is that I played uh, the Dormouse in a, uh, a read-through of Alice in Wonderland, and the substitute teacher that was there that day, uh, after the performance was over and the read-through was uh, done of the scene, uh, complimented me, saying that uh, she she felt that I really stayed in character the entire way and, and was very believable. Um, and at the time... That didn't mean a lot to me. Uh, I didn't really understand what the significance of that was. But looking back on it, I realized that I had uh, an inherent talent there just waiting to come out um, that didn't surface again for, oh, another uh, 10 to 15 years. Wow. After, after that, what, what, what really got me into professional acting was that I was playing um, baseball uh, in an amateur baseball league in Long Beach, mm -hmm. California. And uh, one of the players, Jeff Severson, had gotten into acting through professional football. He had been with a number of pro teams. And, and through that work as a football player, he was a, an actor and, and atmosphere player uh, in two movies, North Dallas 40 and The Longest Yard with Burt Reynolds. And so he he continued to miss our Thursday night uh, practice uh, for Sunday baseball. And since I was the manager and player in the team, uh, I had to bench him on Sunday for a couple of innings because of missing practice. And the reason he missed practice was to go to uh, Ivan Marcota's Van Mar Academy of Television and motion picture acting in Hollywood. And so one day I decided if this was that important to Jeff, who loved baseball and uh, loved starting, uh, if it was so important to him to, to literally get benched for two innings, uh, I'd go up with him to the acting class and see what it was all about. And that's really when my uh, professional acting career started. Yeah, yeah, it's always good to get acting lessons and you never stop learning. So that's where it really begins, you know, once you see it firsthand. And and I went through, uh, Trey, I went through many, many coaches uh, for acting through my career. Um, and really until, for, for the first 15 years, uh, I, I learned what I would consider elementary principles of acting and, and the acting business. But it wasn't until... I happened to find uh, my current coach, with, who I've been with for over two decades, uh, Bobby Shaw Chance. Uh, it wasn't until I found her kind of accidentally that uh, really my acting career took off in terms of my ability to 
uh, get a real handle on the character and 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 focus in such a way as to you know never be distracted by the the uh, the fact of it being an artificial environment with cameras and casting directors and directors and crew member and and all of these things that that can pull you away if you're if you don't look at it correctly pull you away from being um in touch with the character yeah yeah you have to stay in character and it's easy to get distracted you know in the when you're acting but you have to stay in character and make it realistic and it is a tough business it's not for everybody i've learned that so (laughs) yes yes and and you know uh, the uh it, it was funny because I had never heard of Bobby Shaw Chance until I happened to meet her daughter at a club med down in Mexico. And, and uh, both of us uh, were athletes and outgoing and uh, really uh, had a, a, a good friendship going right from the beginning. And uh, unfortunately, we were both injured on the first day that we were there. And I ended up uh, going home with a... a a cut of my foot that I got from a broken glass on the sand and she was injured to her back from, you know, a, a diving accident. Uh, she ended up staying, but I left. And before I left, she mentioned that, uh, if I was an actor, I should really try studying with her mom, Bobby Shaw chance. And so when I came back, uh, with my foot all stitched up and bandaged up, um, I decided, okay, let's give this a go. And that's, and that's when, uh, that's when the real acting training came and it, it's almost like a, uh, everything before that was one category of acting and everything shortly after I started with, uh, with Bobby was a, a completely different immersion um, and understanding of what it takes to uh, connect with the role and, um, and, and allow yourself to be believable based on real emotions and not not uh, uh, constructing the, the scene too much in advance, which is a, a mistake that many actors have done in the past and still do. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you have to have, you have to have moment to moment reality. That's kind of the way I look at it. And uh, that's what I try to accomplish in each one of the characters that I uh, undertake. Yeah, you have to make it realistic, but don't go over the top, you know. You have to keep it in there, you know, but not too much. (laughs) There you go. Right. My next question is, what do you find is the most difficult part being an actor, or most challenging? Uh, For for me, the most challenging uh, aspect of it is is resiliency in the face of... uh, not so much rejection as not having the opportunities that you'd like to have. Um, a, a large part of acting is some of its luck, some of its um, what connections you've made, uh, who your agents are, a lot of its talent and look and personality. You know, no matter how talented you are, if you don't have a personality that's likable. Um, you may not get very far in this business unless you happen to be the kind of actor that does only one or two different kinds of characters and, and those characters may not be likable. And so, you know, in that case, uh, uh, even, uh, maybe boring people on the outside might be interesting in certain characters, but, um, the toughest part of acting is the resiliency. Uh, and I, I think I learned a lot from my, my, uh, father and mother of, of, uh, how to, uh, see the, the, the long range goals, keep my eye on, you know, the, uh, the future and not be, uh, too frustrated with what's happening in the, you know, in the, in the, you know, right in the present. Uh, for me, it's been, a very successful career in many senses. Uh, I've accomplished a lot. I've had many exciting roles and I intend to continue to uh, have exciting roles, but 
but you know, I've been at this tray for well uh, since 1985. I became a Screen Actors Guild member, mm-hmm. and uh, and and over that time, I would uh, there are certain turning points where I thought, gee, this this will be the breakout role for me, where I'll get more recognition, more more opportunities to audition. Um, and, uh, you know, to an extent I have, but there've been a lot of frustration. So the toughest part about acting is basically being able to stick with it, uh, and yet sustain yourself through some employment, uh, that, that is also satisfying so that you're not drying up, uh, emotionally. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You have to have a, like you said, a good personality and have a thick skin because, as I said, this business is not for everybody, and most of the time actors, or most, it's all the time auditioning, you know, for a part, and don't take rejection personally, and, but yeah, you're right, just the most important and challenging part is to stick with it, and if you love it and enjoy it, uh, you're going to stick with it, you know. (laughs) And, and, you know, uh, what I, what I've seen, and I, uh, having studied at the same place uh, off and on for over two decades, I, I've seen many actors come and go. And uh, and those who set a timeline for themselves uh, almost inevitably fail uh, because this business doesn't operate that way. Uh, you know, you can't w- come into the country or into the business and say, I, you know, I'm going to uh, be successful in three years or I'm leaving. You know, it just hasn't happened. On the other hand, many people have decided uh, that, uh, you know, I've given it many years and I've given it my best and I'm going to turn towards building a family, for example, um, and, uh, you know, more steady work. And I certainly uh, respect that decision for them, although uh, fortunately for me, I feel I've never come to that conclusion. I'm... uh, I'm, I've been committed to being an actor uh, for uh, for decades, and I'm never going to leave the profession, uh, you know, until I'm unable to physically or mentally uh, perform as an actor. Yeah, absolutely. Stick with it as long as you're able to, and uh, stick yeah. with it because you enjoy it. Absolutely. Sure. Yeah. My next question is, do you have any upcoming uh, projects or roles, anything upcoming? Um, you know, right now, uh, uh, there there was something uh, that I, I can't talk about, but uh, mm-hmm. I just found out the other day that I, that I was not uh, hired. So that was, uh, uh, you know, a turning point in, in a sense, a little disappointing, but um, uh, I don't, I don't have any uh, particular uh, roles coming up, uh, right now. So, but, uh, in this business that, that really doesn't mean anything, uh, tomorrow I could, uh, or tonight I could get a, uh, a call from my, uh, or an email from my, uh, manager, or, uh, not manager, but agent and, um, uh, and have a great audition. And, you know, there could be something, uh, you know, in a week from now. So, uh, right now, I have no commercials uh, on the air, and I have no uh, uh, television shows where I'm uh, that are going to be airing for the first time or film. But uh, that's constantly changing. Uh, I've had a lot of successes in the past couple of years, uh, particularly commercially. Uh, a couple of years ago, I had the um, uh, one of the the key roles in a, a Firestone Complete Auto Care commercial that was very funny. I was a wild Ray, a used car salesman. And, uh, that aired literally thousands of times on cable as well as some national network airings. And then, and then, uh, uh, for the 2018, um, football season for Thursday night football, I had a big commercial, uh, that played in, uh, 2018 and 2019 uh, for Thursday night football on Fox. And, uh, I played a, uh, uh, a truck driver who was walking to his truck and asked his partner, uh, his buddy, uh, who's on Thursday night football this week. And he goes, Vikings Rams. And I said, really? And then they go from that to a whole collage of, of other, uh, scenes. 